dun, 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 dun. fractions, everybody's favorite. Don't freak out. You can always get rid of the fraction. And the way you get rid of the fraction is real simple. Divide both sides by the common denominator. What? What are you talking about? Look, if I had two thirds and I wanted to get rid of that three right here, all I'd have to do is multiply it by three because look what happens. Two times three gives me six. This is over one. Three times one gives me three. And guess what? The three is eliminated. I'll even show you a better way of doing this. It's called cancellation law. This is two thirds times three. Check this out, three over one. You know from math 10C what's on the bottom and on the top, they cancel, leaving you with a plain old two. So using that idea of the common denominator, which happens to be three in this case, we're gonna multiply both sides of this polynomial now both sides of this polynomial, we're going to multiply by 3. So I'm going to multiply this side by 3, and I'm going to multiply this side by 3. Check out what happens. We distribute this 3 over here and over here. This gives you 3n squared, because 3 times n squared is just 3n squared. Plus, look at this, 3 times 8 over 3. And you know cancellation law. Cancellation law means that the 3s are going to cancel, leaving you with just plain old 8. This equals to 10 over 3n times 3. And again, cancellation law, baby, look at that. That's gone as well. Leaving you 3n squared plus, there's that 8, equaling to oh, 10n. Now, the nice thing about this, it's very, very straightforward and simple. You gotta bring that over to the other side. Otherwise, ugh, you got an ugly looking quadratic and you can't really factor this. So subtract 10 n, subtract 10 n. Check this out now. That cancels leaving you three n squared, write it properly, minus 10 n plus eight. Now you can PSA to this. Oh my goodness. This is going to be a lot of fun. Okay, let's extend the page here. Look at this. PSA 2 says you multiply those two things together. That becomes your product. Your product then, of course, in this case, 3 times 8 is 24. Your sum is minus 10. Because this is PSA 2, you don't put the answer down yet. Okay, figure it out. Two numbers together to multiply to give me 24. That add up to minus 10. Well... Minus 6 and minus 4 work beautifully, okay? This gives you minus 6 plus and minus 4, and guess what? We take that minus 6 and minus 4, we pop it into here. We have 3n squared minus 6 and minus 4n plus 8. Beautiful. Now, group it. Ba-da-bum, 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 ba-da-bum. Out of this group, we take out a 3n, leaving you with n minus 2. How beautiful is that? Out of this group, we take a minus 4 out, leaving in with n minus 2 again. And check this out. This works out to be, oh, there it is, n minus 2. And, of course, 3n minus 4. Now, remember, in Math 20, when we solve things, we have to make sure that we let this equal to 0. So that means we have an n minus 2 equals to 0, and we have a 3n minus 4 equals to 0. Very simple solving. See if you can do some of this in your head. I know you can do this in your head. Bring the 2 over, and of course, it's going to equal to 2. That's great. So there's one of your nice little solutions. But how about this one? Can you do this one in your head? Well, yeah, you're going to bring that 4 over. You know and I know that becomes positive 4. And then you're going to divide by 3. And look what you got. N equals to 4 thirds. There's your other root or your other solution. And everything's cool. So when you see a fraction, just eliminate it.